Thanks for watching Bronco Solid. Today we're going to talk about gapping spark plugs. That's coming up next. <laughs> Spark plugs need to be set at a certain gap. To do that, you're going to need a feeler gauge, which is readily available at any parts store. All of these are a certain thickness, and I, what I need to do is I need to pass it through between the two components of the spark plug. And when it's gapped properly, you're going to get a little bit of drag right here. So I'm going to pass it between the contacts, and I want it to just drag just a little bit. This one goes through without really even touching, and it won't fit through this one. So I know I'm right about 0 0.4. This one seems a little tight at 0 0.4, so this gap might actually be 0 0.38 or something like that. So I can use this part of the tool right here to slightly and very gently bend that contact. I'm not really bending it so much as I'm just applying a little bit of pressure right there. Now I can recheck my gap. Now it's really stuck. It won't go through. I went the wrong way. I tightened it a little bit. I made it more narrow. So I'm going to open it up a little bit. Applying a little bit of pressure there. And there, that's really nice. Just dragging just a little bit. I can't fit it over the 045 and it goes way too easily through the 035 so I know I'm right about 040 right there. Hey guys thanks for watching how to gap spark plugs. Did you recognize where we were in the beginning of the video? If you did go ahead and leave a comment below or if you want to say anything else about this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.